Hello, my creative Capricorns, and welcome to your November 2020 Intuitive Energy Forecast. My name is Lisa Lyle, and this is my channel here on YouTube. My website is lisalyle.com, and you can find me on social media, Wisdom of the Heart, on Facebook, Instagram, and on MeWe. So it's been about three months since I connected to do um, these energy forecasts, and it's been a hectic three months. We have moved homes. Um, there has been much going on. So I was really guided to focus my energy on the home front and on the process that um, my, my little family and I have been moving through. So it is so good to be back in a fresh space sharing with all of you. And I hope you have been well and taking care of yourself over the recent months. Um, we are winding up 2020 and as a result, I have now opened up bookings for my uh, yearly readings for 2021 and if that is something that would be of interest to you, check out my website lisalyle.com under offerings. Yearly forecasts are $222 and it is a minimum of 12 um, monthly videos for you um, and oftentimes they're more because I, I tend to do it when I'm guided uh, quarterly guidance like an over um, writing healing energy for the quarter and then each month has its own video so if that's something that interests you please do have a look at my website or reach out to connect with me also until November 3rd so depending on when you are connecting with these messages up until November 3rd, I am um, offering blue moon messages. So on October 31st, we are having um, our first blue moon since March 31st, 2018. And we will not have another blue moon until August 31st, 2023. So I've been guided to offer these messages for $44. And it's just some guidance to really support your um process of integration between these blue moon energies. So we're wrapping up a cycle and we're moving into a new cycle. So if that's something that interests you, I will um, share the link down in the description below. I'm not sure though that you can actually click on the link. I don't think I have enough subscribers yet to allow me to share that kind of stuff. So you would just copy that and put it in the um, browser and then send off your exchange for that. So let's get right into it. Let's see where you are now, Capricorn. There it is. There feels like two cards wanna come out for you here. So I'm gonna trust that, because that's what I do. Oh, oh, Capricorn. So this is the first one I saw, and it is a number three. And what I'm really feeling for you is there's so much incoming support, and it's been around you, and, and uh, you know, coming in for you, uh, light codes, uh, downloads, upgrades, activations. And I feel like this is a month for you to really focus aligning yourself with these energies. So really um, taking some time to connect with nature, to ground these energies, because this is a missing link for many, many people. Many people know so much, right? They have a lot of knowledge or information. They understand they're being supported by the universe and, and all of this, yet many people jump over the integration component. And, and that can't be. We actually must integrate through the heart. We must connect our heart to the heart of Mother Earth. And so we have this three energy creation and I feel like you are being guided to integrate so you can birth new creations, co-creations through your heart. This is a number 20, so I see it as a two. This is um, high priestess energy, uh, medicine woman energy. And I feel like it's like standing on your own two feet this month. And, and really, I... Capricorn, I'm feeling like you are being guided to um, retreat a little bit. And it's interesting because Mercury is currently retrograde and I believe goes direct in um, maybe the 3rd of November or something. So I do feel that there is a call for you to retreat. Bring it back home. 
come back to yourself because this this is a beautiful I mean the whole energy surrounding these messages is unconditional love so I'm not sure who needs to hear it I'm going to say it though because someone does you are a beautiful being of light who is loved unconditionally by your ancestors by your angels by your guides you are loved and supported beyond measure okay and so I feel like for some of you there is a call for you to take the time to nurture yourself and it's funny because we have that three vibration here and I'm just seeing these three points it's almost like the Trinity within you is um, merging coming online coming together so really go to your heart for everything is what I'm hearing trust your heart beyond any of the clutter, any of the noise that you hear that comes from outside of yourself. Always go into your heart because your heart will not steer you wrong, okay? So let's see some guidance from Mother Earth. Haha, <laughs> see? Intuitive communication. I love this card and it's a number 34, so it's a seven. So this is again about you coming online. As I was saying here, it feels like there's been a lot coming in to support you and it's about you shifting and integrating that through your physical body and time in nature is going to support your ability to come into your heart and trust your heart. I see you hugging a tree. So get out there and hug a tree or touch a tree. And I'm feeling guided to ask, when was the last time you went and um, shared space with your favorite tree or in your favorite spot in nature? Because it feels like this is a missing link for you, almost like you have been so wrapped up and busy in doing what you do that you have not really, it's like you've neglected you. And this is a common theme that's coming through with um, all the clients I'm connecting with these days. It's like the self-care component has kind of gone out the window in 2012. And it's really time to bring that back in and get back in tune with that. Um, and, and it says the words on the card are silent whispers of the heart. And I'm feeling Archangel Michael all around you. Archangel Michael guides your process. Archangel Michael guides you to connect with your innate wisdom, your inner truth. Okay. Um, so pay attention to the intuitive nudgings you are receiving because I feel that there are many, if you are feeling bogged down and weighed down by, um, your connection with others, I'm being guided to ask you to pay attention and, um, to, cut any cords of attachment that are draining you, okay? Because then the next card you got is the goddess of the sacred path. So you are truly here, and Archangel Michael is here to support your missionary work in this lifetime, your path of divine service, what you came here to do. So pay attention. It's funny, I was picking up on Archangel Michael, and then the next card that comes out is all blue, um, which is his color. And it, it, it really is like there's so much coming in. There's so much supporting you. And it's almost like you're having a really hard time deciphering the messages. And the reason that that is, is what I'm hearing instantly is because you have disconnected from nature. And nature is your essence. And nature supports the grounding of all this like really high vibe support that's coming through. And... For you, Capricorn, it is so important to anchor your heart to the heart of Mother Earth because this is going to support um, the stability as humanity continues to rise. And as humanity continues to rise and wake up, there's going to be a lot of um, rumbling and quaking and shaking of the earth. And so it's up to each of us, and particularly um, you being that cardinal earth sign, to really, you know, return home to the earth. Pay attention to your body because you are, um, you are spirit and matter all in one. And so and it's really about you um, being that high priestess, whether you're male or female, being that medicine woman energy and anchoring in it says let go of logic and trust your intuition yeah you know like 
humanity should let go of their logic and trust their intuition, right? Because this is very linear, um, you know, uh, once proof, blah, 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 blah. And intuition is just a knowing. It's just a way of being. It's fluid and flowing. And this is what you're being asked to trust, your intuition, your inner knowing. Because you are wise beyond your beliefs. So let's get some love from your ancestors here. I don't even know if I pulled an ancestors card for the last sign. I don't know if I did. All right, let's see here. Ancestors for Capricorn. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Redwood. The big redwoods in California. The redwood forest. It's a 46. So that's a 10. So it's a 1. New vibrations coming in. This is a time for a new beginning and we're getting close to your season of rebirth, right? As we transition through the solstice and into 2021. This is about you. What is it that you are here to do? Feminine, North, Mars, and Earth. So North, I always feel like um, the light streaming in from above us, the love of the elders and our ancestors, our wisdom guides, if you will. Um, Mars, we have Mars retrograde in Aries right now. So for some of you, there could be this uh, feisty, fiery energy that's coming through to the surface and, I, and being guided to say you temper that through your connection to the earth. You um, stabilize that because you don't want to be, you know, uh, out there, like just going off. It, it's really about um, what I'm hearing. It's the, um, no, no, Luna. It's the, it's the war within, right? It, the logic versus the intuition, okay? And so paying attention because you, uh, you know, your intuition is meant to guide you. Don't let your logic blind you, okay? So trust your process. If you, um, again, with that intuitive communication, I was saying I saw you out there hugging a tree. So it, this, with the redwoods coming up, it really feels important. Get out there and hug a tree. And maybe some of you have, you know, a piece of redwood bark or something, you know, pulling it out. I feel that very much it's about you reconnecting to the earth. And that's going to support you as you move forward on your heart-centered path, your heart-centered missionary work. Oh, see, Sagittarius got this too. Your animal guide is turtle, slow and steady, grandmother energy. You are loved and supported by your ancestors, working with the rhythms and cycles of the seasons of the sunrise and sunset, the moonrise and moonset really working energetically with the seasons. There is, um, with, not, not the seasons, the earth's natural cycles, okay? And you're really good at this. And so really paying attention, not rest, not rushing yourself, resting when there is a need to rest. Don't deplete your energy um, doing for others and putting yourself on the back burner. It's really important that you put yourself first because we need you. Um, and this feels like a awakening of the divine feminine within you. So pay attention to your intuition. Get out of your head and into your heart. Okay, let's get some love from your higher self. No, Luna, just stay. See, there's a dog next door. I'm not sure if you can hear it here. And so she just wants to go. Um, and it's a big Doberman. I love it. She does too, but I'm not ready for her to go taking off and making a bunch of noise right now. So this is the card from your higher self. And again, this is feeling very much like that energy of unconditional love really brings you into your power. For some of you, there are a lot of emotions coming to the surface, surface and they will. So what I'm hearing is emotions are going to rise throughout the month of November, um, personally and collect globally, right? Um, so pay attention to that and don't allow yourself to get swept up in the storm and get into that feisty Mars energy. Really being the grounded, 
um, beacon of light that you came here to be and you are a master of navigating your emotions and actually it is the mastery of your emotions that supports your creation right it, it's through moving through our emotions that we create that we bring to life um, things that support us as well as things that are intended to support others as well. It says on the back of the card, help is on the way. The raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart. This is a time of deep, profound and positive transformation. Courage, strength and patience are required. You are supported by a sea of love. And isn't that beautiful? That's, I find it really beautiful, Capricorn. So I'm just going to reach into my uh, bowl here and see what Crystal wants to support you in the month of November. So Capricorn. Right there. Oh, Celestite. Angels. You are surrounded by angels. Um, and again, this is a lighter blue than I generally connect with Archangel Michael, but it is blue. Um, how are you speaking to yourself? What are the words that you're using? Are they kind? Are they necessary? Are they true? Um, working with Celestite to connect to your angelic team. And feeling like for some of you, sleeping with some Celestite under your pillow is going to support you remembering your dreams. Oh, look at that. Looks like there's a triangle in there, which I pointed out in this, the Trinity of, so I don't know if you can see that there also. Looks like a triangle. So really, it does speak about the importance of you um, grounding your um, intuitive body to um, Mother Earth and feeling how supported you are through that connection. So Capricorn, I hope you have a wonderful November. It's so good to be back connected with you. Please do let me know in the comments below how your message resonated with you. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to this channel and hit that little notification bell so you will know as soon as new content has been uploaded. And I look forward to connecting with some of you for 2020 and uh, 2021. Uh, 2020 <laughs> 2021 energy forecast as well as the blue moon messages in up until November the 3rd so until then Capricorn take good care of yourself I see you I feel you I love you and I thank you for your beautiful grounded presence in my life take good care <laughs>